Welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove haze from your image, but it's not that simple. We're not, not just going to remove the haze, which is very simple by using Camera Raw or Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to do this in the right way, which means we only we going to remove the haze, but we also going to remove the haze from the specific areas. We're going to have full control on the image. If we need to remove the haze just in one element, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you how to remove a haze like a pro in Photoshop. So let's jump to our first image. And I have some of the images I took a few days ago here in Hong Kong with amazing harbor view and Hong Kong. And I think I'm going to show you work on these two images um, by the differences. As you can see, we have um, very uh, different haze locations. So I want to make sure that you are 100% sure how to fix the haze on any kind of the image if you have problems. That's the key of this tutorial. And I'm starting with this one. So we have pretty general haze. And at first, what we need to do, we have to go to the FX panel. So first is basic, we're going to FX panel, which is FX, uh, FX panel. And then we're going to dehaze this image. And of course you can't go too far. You will take off the haze, but you will destroy the image as well. So where you want to go somewhere that it still look natural, maybe around 30. And then I'm going back to the basic panel I'm bringing up the shadows because of course I need to make this image uh, well visible. I'm taking down the highlights as well. And now, well, it has some sense. Now I'm going also to increase clarity. It helps with the haze. It's also sort of remove the haze. And at this moment, I'm going to open this image. It's not finished, but it's the right base to start the image. And I'm opening this as a smart object. So I'm pressing shift and I have open object. Make sure you open everything as an object because you want to work non-distracted. So once you have object, you can always double click on the layer and come back to camera to fix the certain areas in non-destructive way without the need of creating another layer and going again to curves and trying to fix it. Then I'm going to work once again with camera raw, but I will do this on the new layer. And to create the new layer at this moment from the object, we have to create first layer. And then I'm going to pro press command option shift and E. If you're working on windows, that will be control alt shift and E. And I'm going to name this the haze number one. I'm going to convert this into smart objects. And we're going to do the process again. A little different, but we'll, we might use similar tools and we all see how it just going to look. So let's go into this and I'm going to FX. Let's dehaze. This time maybe 25 is like the limit, I think, to me. Uh, we could go further, but I don't want to overdo this. A little bit more clarity as well. And then I'm going to press OK. Seems simple, but this is not where I want to stop. I'm going to create the layer mask. Layer mask, when it's white, represent everything what's visible. When it's dark, we invert the layer mask and the effect is not visible. So what we want to do here, let's keep the black layer mask. And I'm going to choose the gradient tool. And I want to make sure my gradient tool is black and white let me let me check okay this is i need white and black not black and white white and black right so for this set i need the gradient of course to be white for the other black and i'm going to drag the straight line from the top to the bottom why i'm doing this let me explain you this Still not enough, still not so precise. I would maybe drag this not such a straight, this type of line. Let's try with this. I think it might be better now. Okay. So why I'm doing this? I want the effect to be most visible in the areas where is the haze. And the area is the haze is most more visible on the top 
then on the bottom. So that was the reason why I did this because I need to remove the haze from the buildings and not necessarily from the bottom which is closer to my camera and the haze doesn't exist there. So next step I'm going to create empty layer to clean some of the areas because I can see and I bet you can see as well these corners here which got some um, not really pleasant color. Okay. And also it's getting some noise, easy to remove, don't worry. So I'm going to create another layer, which we're going to call blur. And you can create this, um, you can convert this to smart object as well, if you need that, of course. And um, then we're going to apply some blur, but it's not necessarily, you don't have to add the convert this to smart object if you feel confident but well it's good to keep this that way i'm going to do radius 40 layer mask convert into black and with white colored brush i'm going to even out my sky because it got too much noise we want smooth sky we want really smooth sky to have here and now we don't have noise and we have better transitions. So the haze is not finished. I would create another layer and let's call this this time the haze number two, which will be more selective. I'm going to convert this to smart object. And we still need to apply more haze, but well, we have to be careful, especially I think the sky is done. The sky here doesn't have haze. The bottom doesn't have haze, but just the buildings. So let's go to filter, camera filter. FX, dehaze. Also, clarity. It darkened this up a little bit. So what I would recommend, you can increase a little bit of exposure and then hit OK. Once it's done, create the layer mask again, invert this into black color and paint with the white color around the buildings, around the areas that the haze is visible. And as you can see, we really nicely bring up more clarity around the buildings. So this is how I deal with the hazy images, as you can see. Um, I can show you the. this is not even starting point. This was already after conversion. And you can see in how better point we ended up. This technique is especially good when we don't have equal parts of the image. On this image, that would be strongly visible because, for example, we have really visible trees on the front and we have huge haze on the back. So you don't want to apply the haze straight away because it would destroy your plants on the front. They are very crispy. You don't want to add more of that. So what we would do in this case, you just want to open this image at first we have without applying the haze, without working with the haze. And then you want to create another layer right? And you might create this into the stamp. Uh, let me name this as a dehaze one. You could also create possibly the smart object via copy as we didn't apply dehaze, but we did this this way already. Convert to smart object. And we will apply dehaze. And of course, after that, we will be able to mask it. So is it done? Filter, camera filter, and then we go into the dehaze. So I'm applying some dehaze, not too much at the moment. I would have to do this few times possibly. Hit OK, create a layer mask, and then softly paint with the white color once you invert this into the black, of course and just have a look at the result we achieve. Obviously, you have to be careful with the plants, which I wasn't, 
I affected them on one side not too much so I would have to clean it a little bit here but as you can see we were able to dehaze the image selectively just in the area we want to do it so this is my method how I work with the haze how I deal with the haze and how I remove this on my video I do believe it's very useful tip for you so please if you enjoy this leave a like comment follow me on instagram and just share some love with me to show it has meaning what i do here on youtube thank you and soon i will see you in another video